Hi everybody, this is Fiery Survival. I'm proud to kind of show you my latest creation. Um, last week I showed you how I stained uh, and uh, built these um, harnesses for my equipment belt. And I mentioned that I was going to build a kind of a long bag uh, to carry in the back of my belt for survival items. So I spent a few hours uh, uh, over the weekend I made this. It's made out of two types of uh, leather. Uh, this is printed cowhide. It's been printed with the look, looks like the uh, appearance of a crocodile skin, but it's not. It's not crocodile skin. It's actually hot cowhide, and I think the factory just you know embossed it and colored it to make it look like a uh, crocodile hide. Um, the belt is made out of a, a fetch tan leather, long piece, which I stained and I put these uh, belt loops, uh, or belt holes into them. Um, it's just one long piece that which goes around the entire bag. Uh, I used uh, copper rivets to punch hole, you know, uh, to really secure uh, this belt to the bag, and then these are also small uh, metal rivets. And for the first time, uh, I attached zippers across the uh, the bag because I think because the bag is so long, and you know, if we're gonna move around walking, uh, just securing the items with this flap in the belt I, I thought it, was, it wasn't going to be secure enough so I added these zippers um, and then here's some uh, survival items this is a the Viking fire pouch which I showcased a few months back uh, inside are some fire making materials uh, tinder, there's a box of tinder uh, Swedish fire steel and some um, this is some, some kind of a resin induced wood uh, which can really start fires pretty quickly and a, a little thing of a wet fire so this is pretty useful and you definitely need to have uh, some form of a some form of a fire making material when you go into the woods because you never know it's, it's sometimes things can be so wet and humid you may not be easily be able to fire, uh, start a fire with only one type of a um, fire making um, you know, device. Second item that I'm going to pull out here is a knife. This is a pretty big knife. I believe this is a was purchased from um, Native Survival on their website. This was a one of the very first ones that he sold and I really love this knife I mean um, it's not that big but the handle is uh, really it gives you a lot of control I love this grip and the knife itself doesn't need to be that large uh, so as long as you know you, you, it's strong enough and for carving batoning, uh, you know striking a fire rod and cutting down small limbs, uh, this is very good. So I may do a, a review on this knife sometime in the future. But this knife fits into this bag. Okay. Second, another thing I'm going to be pulling out is um, a saw. This is a Silky Pocket Boy from uh, Silky Saws. So quite a decent saw. And I have mentioned in some other videos that. A saw is probably one of the most important tools that you can take into the woods. I would take a saw over an axe any day. Well, you know, I don't live in the boreal forest and maybe if you're living constantly surrounded by, uh, you know, the snow and cold, you probably, you know, you probably could use an axe better than uh, a saw, but for most other environments, like temperate environments, jungle environments, a saw is going to be more useful than a than an axe. So, and I, the reason why I show this in this bag is uh, when you're hiking into the woods, you're most likely going to be running into people, and you don't want to have a, a knife stick, sticking on your belt. And having a saw also on your belt is going to be kind of uh, weird looking, and people may stare at you. So, 
it'd be nice to put it into a bag like this. So to give you some dimensions, it's seven centimeters, seven centimeters wide. It's uh, 12 centimeters tall, this way, and it's 25 centimeters in length. And um, and the, one of the reasons why I made the belt um, that closes the flap a little bit longer is. I was thinking, you know, you could be going into the woods and and uh, you may get hot or, you know, you may take off your shirt and you want to hand carry it. So, uh, this is a outdoor shirt. So, you can kind of put it on your belt so you can keep your hands free. And you could be putting any number of other items attached to this um, this bag you, you can be using uh, for example you can have rope here you can have a tarp um, maybe you found some you know branches that you, you want to carry but you could put a bundle of branches right here and put it on your back and then you could also hand carry it so I, I, I thought having an extra long belt would give you more flexibility to do things into the uh, in the wild and I think the philosophy of uh, use of uh, this bag is that once you get to camp uh, you're definitely going to take off your rucksack or your backpack and you're going to be moving around you're going to walk around the, uh, you're gonna walk around your camp you're going to set up camp you're going to have to go find water you have to find kindling fire you may be searching for wild edibles whatever it is you're not going to be doing that with your backpack on but but you still need to have some survival items with you because you get you could get lost for example you could get hurt you could fall and uh, you're gonna wish that you had some items with you but if your backpack is far away uh, where you can't, can't get to it then it, you're gonna be in trouble so a lot of um, survivalists and YouTube uh, you know video makers they recommend having some survival items on you at all times so based on that philosophy I thought it would be nice to have a reasonably large bag that attaches to your belt and is always traveling with you. So I kind of made this, um, you know, I'm a novice, obviously, as you can tell. But um, uh, I think it's really important as part of, uh, you know, survivalist thinking that uh, you have to be able to make things on your own uh, to be self-reliant. So I think uh, it's really important because uh, you never know when something bad may happen or you may be stuck somewhere. You should have some skills to make things with your hands and you know that's the reason why I'm practicing you, you know uh, with uh, with leather. I think I'll go through this phase for a few years and maybe I'll get into metal uh, blacksmithing or something else. But I think I think anybody should have or everybody should have some level of uh, self-reliance skills. Okay, so sorry for the long, boring monologue. Uh, this is my survival belt bag. Um, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to uh, showing you more items and more outdoor experiences. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this video and uh, I'll, I'll catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.